As people across the nation celebrate and honor our veterans, we want to highlight a local group that is using music as a form of post-conflict care. Soldier Songs and Voices creates a safe space for vets to unleash their creativity and express themselves through music. The local nonprofit has expanded to chapters across the country and demand has grown so quickly. It's looking to create more chapters. I had the chance to learn how it's transforming lives one note at a time. As the sun begins to set in Lockhart, Texas, you can hear the faint sound of music permeating through the downtown historic district just off the main square. It's coming from the back patio of Lodolph Fanny's. Every month, you'll find a group of veterans like retired Army Major Deb Westlow in an intimate circle sharing their stories, songs they created. And it's, it's called You Can Go, and that's kind of been my my um, that's kind of been my mantra ever since. You Can Go, a song that chronicles the darkest moments of her journey. It was life changing. I mean, I here I'm thinking I'm healthy. I go along and all of a sudden, bam, there's one cancer and then bam, another one. You know, and spent a lot of time in treatments for the various cancers. Cancer, not once, not twice, but three times. Blood, breast, and skin. It had a, a detrimental impact on my life. So when this organization came along, it kind of opened up my world. What line of the song says, when you get the news, you think it's the end, but your new normal is about to begin. Over the last five and a half years, Soldier Songs and Voices has helped her navigate that new normal. We, it, they're, they're like my best friends. You know, we, we were strangers when we, we first, you know, met, but now we share so much of our, our lives with these these other veterans. It's very therapeutic. The whole the whole idea of, of putting your thoughts down on paper and then eventually putting it into a song is, is such a therapeutic um, experience. Musician Dustin Welch started the nonprofit in 2011. After his performances, veterans would tell him how they wanted to learn how to play the guitar or even write songs. So he started small monthly or weekly casual workshops like these that grew into 17 chapters across the country. People with speech aphasia and a lot of neurological things, chronic seizures, people were getting off their meds just immediately. They, they just, they were like, I don't know what you're up to. So at that point, I realized, oh, we're actually on to something. He didn't realize the transformative path it would create. I was going to commit suicide in 2007. Literally, I took the gun out of my mouth the day Dustin Mulch uh, saved my life. Trying to teach me how to get those emotions on paper. I'm a product of the effort that they constantly pour into us veterans out here. It's being able to put yourself out there, being able to trust that you can open up and show yourself to other people. That is a, a huge protective factor. It reduces a risk for suicide, but also for depression and anxiety and isolation. Dr. Blake Harris with the Texas Veterans Commission says shared safe spaces like these help build confidence and organize feelings from the past and the present. It helps us access our memories, help gives us context to them, and helps us really identify how we're feeling with them. But it also, when you're, you're activating all parts of your brain, it helps energize us as well. The type of energy that's palpable among Deb Westlow and this group of veterans. It's been my therapy for, for years, and I've seen so many others that, you know, PTSD or other challenges that um, veterans face, how it's just changed their life, just like it's changed my life. song, You Can Go, which I explained really helped her through her cancer journey. And it was just amazing to see. We were in Lockhart probably for about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. And when we, we didn't want to leave, first of all, because <laughs> they were still playing music, but just the community that they have built, the friendships, um, and they're able to be vulnerable and transparent with one another about issues that they deal with, which is so amazing. So a lot of times it's uh, talking and music yes. can get you through so many things. Yes. So I'm, I'm glad. Thank you so much for bringing that story mm -hmm. to us. Absolutely. Something